Hi, this is Carla Iverson, your Mariner Media Specialist. Today we are going to add sound to Google Slides using Zap Splat. So first of all, I would like to thank Miss Jackie, paraprofessional extraordinaire here at High School North. Jackie asked the question, hey, how do we add sound to Google Slides? And then later in the day told me how to do it. So thank you for making my job easy for our workshop. Um, I'm going to show everybody what you told me. So you start your Google Slides, you make your slide presentation. It's very easy when you go into insert, click on insert and then add audio. But here's the trick. You already have to have uploaded your audio ahead of time to Google Drive. So Zap Splat makes it easy. I'm going to tell you right now, you are better off doing this on a desktop computer than you are a Chromebook. It's just a lot easier on a desktop computer, unless you're a whiz with the Chromebooks. But if you're on the other side of 40, you might want to stick to a regular mouse for all the clicking you're going to have to do. So on zapsplat.com, you will need to create a free account to do that. Um, just click on free sound effects. So I scrolled down to categories, and when I saw animals, I said, llamas, camels and llamas, I love llamas. So this Wanako calling its young in the forest. <laughs> I liked that sound. So when you want to download it, you just click on MP3. Now we're getting a really important message and I'm glad it's giving us this message because I think this is an important conversation for us to have as educators, right? Remember, you must credit us, provide attribution when using our sounds and music in your work. Easy example. So we're not doing an MLA citation. We're not doing an APA citation. We are just saying sound from zapsplat.com. Why do we need to do that? Because we weren't out in the jungle recording that llama. Someone else took the time to do that. Okay, whether it's someone from Zap Splat or someone that Zap Splat paid a small fee to. One of the most important things that I'm trying to teach our students as a school librarian is that you should be proud of your work. You don't want somebody stealing your work. Therefore, don't steal somebody else's work. So even though we can find these things on the internet for free, we can find audio files for free, we can find images for free. If we didn't create them, we have to give credit to the person or website that did create and provide them. And kids say, ah, oh, but I can see it. Why can't I take it? Well, I can see my neighbor's beautiful rose bush too, but that doesn't mean I can take those gorgeous flowers. So very great lesson for us to impart with the students. So make sure you're crediting your attribution. So I downloaded it earlier on a desktop computer and then I put it here. All I did was say insert audio and you'll see on my drive it should be showing up. It's not showing up. That's okay. Let me just refresh it because I did this a hot minute ago and it probably hasn't refreshed to show that it did get up, downloaded and then uploaded again. So I downloaded on the desktop computer and then I uploaded it to my Google Drive. Then I said, insert audio, please show up. And there it is. So Felix Bloom would be the person who had uploaded it. And then I would click and hit select and it would put it on there but i've already done that as we can hear and i just did <laughs> it's such a funny sound okay so thank you for respecting copyright when you use sounds on your google slides and all you got to do is say sound provided by zapsplat.com and the kids will probably like that because the kids might start adding sounds to their Google Slides and then we're sharing a great idea. So again, thank you, Miss Jackie, for asking me how to do this and I hope you understood this presentation. Okay, bye-bye.